Hi everyone, Sheila here. Thank you for joining me. So I hope you'll find a comfortable seat. One that will allow you to um, sit upright and also to be comfortable. And then we'll practice together this art and science of observing present moment experiences. Kind of giving our minds a rest from the busyness of thoughts, many of which um, arise on their own without invitation, many of which are not necessarily true in their content. And for this time, at least, we can just be in the present moment without their, um, without their contribution. So in this seat that you've created, allow your eyes to lower or close. And in those first few moments of gathering awareness, pay particular attention to that transition. Noticing these early moments of unwinding and sitting still. At least the intention is to sit still and then we may notice that there are some sensations, some feeling to move in some way. And that just becomes part of noticing what shows up some unrest in the body or in the mind. Letting a few fuller, deeper breaths bring you more present. Regulating the breath just a bit so that it smooths out, so that it becomes easier to notice where it lands in the body. That gentle expansion and contraction with each in-breath and out-breath. We grow accustomed to noticing. And the breath is something we can notice on purpose simply by setting an intention, gathering awareness, and focusing it there. And then letting the breath release to its natural rhythm. We notice that we can still stay connected to it. Sensations are a little more subtle, but we can focus awareness there somewhere in the torso or the belly. Noticing the rhythm, the depth. the stream of inhale to exhale. So the breath is always a wise anchor. And for those for whom it is not the most comfortable, we can move to sensation in the body equally as skillful, noticing. Is there any tension or expression in the muscles of the face that we can observe? And we notice what happens when we focus awareness there. A 
couple of moments, noticing the forehead. The cheeks, the jaw, the mouth. Ways in which we express ourselves and hold ourselves that in these moments we can just relax. Really coming into complete stillness in all ways. Noticing the feel of the shoulders. The muscles around the shoulder blades and the neck. The weight of our arms. Can the belly relax a bit? Can we sense the buttocks and legs without moving them, just becoming more aware of their presence? This awareness is a direct experience. An intimacy, so to speak, with what is unfolding. And when we find the mind attached to something of another time and place, we can very kindly acknowledge them See them for what they are. And choose to return to something in the present moment. It's okay that the mind generates thoughts. And it is okay to have a practice of not hosting them. Just recognize their presence and use that recognition as a cue, a mindfulness cue. making the journey back towards something that is unfolding in real time just now as you sit in stillness. We may find that the stillness is challenging. We may find that it's refreshing. And if we can, observe without commenting or judging about what we find. See what we can allow. Noticing any changes in sensation as we sit.
things may become more subtle or more pronounced. And neither one of those is better than the other. So along with noticing, there's a great deal of acceptance for what is. This is how it is now. There's nothing to fix or solve or understand, really. There's a willingness to be present in this moment, and then in this moment. With each breath as it begins and settles and releases. with sounds that drift in from the space around us. So we create the habit of being present without judging without complaint. And so we'll prepare to close this meditation together by letting our awareness linger on the sound of the singing bowl. And as the sound seems to move off beyond our hearing ability, then we can slowly allow the eyes to open. And maybe we take inventory. So when we notice how we're feeling in the moment, while we're sitting or after, it is good to notice if we've had expectations. That this should be peaceful and quiet. This should feel some idea of good. And it's, um, it's definitely wise to just notice that sometimes it doesn't feel that way that we expected, that we meet up against a lot of thoughts, maybe some agitation, maybe some emotion. And we have a wish that it would go away. And so over time, it does go away because thoughts are impermanent. And so if we are patient and curious, if we watch and wait long enough, they, they do move off. And sometimes other things take their places, but it all changes. And um, all I can say in these little bits of time that we have together, that observing that, fully observing that, is very beneficial. So um, possibly the nervous system gets a rest and possibly we just become aware of um, what the mind does naturally. And these practices help us create a different relationship to that stream of thoughts that is just part of this being human. So we don't ever really get to turn them off or really change them necessarily but we change our attitude towards them. So if you have any questions, certainly reach out. If you'd like to meditate um, live with us on Thursdays, feel free to reach out. I hope you all stay well. Um, I hope you all practice in between these
times together. And I'll uh, talk with you next week. Thank you.